Hello everyone, in this video we're going to set up randomized stats for our loot. So here we are back in our scene. So this is the scene I use for the stats comparison video. Um, it's not necessary that you've watched that at all. I uh, just wanted to make sure it was still compatible with that. Um, but I would recommend having a look at it. It's a really simple integration and it allows for uh, comparing stats. So let's get started. So first of all, um, on start, I'm adding a bunch of items here and I'm simply going to replace this item this instruction I mean with a new one so um, here we go so this is really similar to one you can find in the hub um, I actually had a look at that one to create this instruction as well um, I did have to create a new instruction because it it didn't do what I expected it to do so basically it didn't just add it to my bag the way I wanted to so um, this new instruction based on that so thanks whoever did that um, however this is now more traditional so it just adds an item to the back like we used to um, so let's do uh, the wood item there we go um, then you select your property name so attack and then the randomized value which I'm going to keep lower than the current value so if we have a look at sword wood here um, the default value is 10 so that will be overwritten um, with whatever we put here. Now we want to make sure that this actually impacts our stats as well. Um, and that is actually surprisingly easy. That doesn't require custom instruction or any script changes. Um, it's actually quite simple. So um, you see, I added a the traits, um, added a simple class. Um, and by default, if I hit play here, um, you will see the default value for strength, which I'll, I'll use for attack in this case, um, is 5. So, um, yeah, for, you know, it's a static value. So let's, uh, let's exit here. And then uh, this instruction, um, I'm actually going to keep that out of the on start, just so we can actually see what it does. Um, and we can actually compare it to make sure it also works properly. So 6 and nine, so it's going to be between that. So let's get it out of here. Um, and we want to make sure it also impacts our stats. So let's open this up. So on equip, we're going to do um, stat. So change stat um, player. So we're, uh, we decided on strength for the stats to be tied to attack. You can do whatever stat you want, of course. Um, and then instead of set, we're going to do add. Now here comes the part, um, value. So we need to set the value. And luckily this is all built in. That's what I love with Game Creator 2. Even though modules don't require each other, they do work together, so that's awesome. So we're going to do item property, so not runtime item property, so item property. Back, we're just going to select player here. There we go. Um, item, we're just going to drag in our same item. And then property ID, we're going to type in attack. Then we're going to copy this over. And on, on unequip, we're going to do subtract. And there we go. So now I'm going to hit play. And we're going to have a look. So as you can see, the value by default was set to 10. That's being overwritten with our new instruction. So um, it's not added yet, so if I open it back, um, oh, it is. Did I not remove it here? Oh, I did not remove it. Okay, let me let me get it out of the way. Okay, it's going to be removed here. Um, so yeah, we we want it to run separately, of course, um, and we don't want it double. So I'm going to hit play. If I open the bag here, um, you'll see a metal sword, and that's it. So attack forty five. Um, then I'm going to run this action, which will add our new wooden sword. And the value is going to be between six and nine, or six or nine. Um, then if I open up my bag again, um, you'll see the value is eight, lovely. Um, still works with the stat comparison. So again, if you haven't seen that video, uh, worth having a look. It does the comparison between the actual uh, actual value here. So yeah, really nice. Um, so if I'm going to unequip this now, 
uh, equip this and unequip. So let's have a look. So the default value on the player for strength was five. It's going to be adding eight here. And as you can see, strength is now 13. Unequip, back to five. Equip, back to 13. And yeah, that's, that's actually it. <laughs> uh, it's quite simple, so no need to save variables, um, which uh, by default, I'll be fair, um, for this part, I just added a static value, never really did it like this. Um, but obviously we couldn't do that now that we're creating a variable value. Um, but luckily Game Creator 2 just has the built-in logic to get this working. So we can actually add the output into um, the actual stats as well. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, that's literally all there is to it. So quite simple, just required uh, one simple uh, instruction um, you know, to make this properly work. Um, and then the rest of the Game Creator 2 logic uh, was enough. So yeah, really, really nice. So uh, yeah, that's it for this video. I know I've been a bit quiet with videos, but you know, like everyone else, I'm enjoying the summer a bit. Um, so, you know, this is a short video, but I think it's a type of logic a lot of people will appreciate. So short video, but really straight to the point. And um, yeah, this is quite useful. Uh, someone requested this. I actually need this myself as well. So uh, there you have it. Thanks for watching everyone. And I'll see you in the next one.